In this YouTube, you're gonna find out the top four tips that top salespeople use when they're selling, okay? So one thing also it's important to know is that 20% of the sales force write 80% of the business. And then there's the top 4% that write 80% of that top 20%. So I'll give you a little bit of a background of where I come from, not to impress you, but just to impress upon you. So I'm a multiple international award-winning sales speaker. I've been running Results Corp sales training for 17 years, and I'm here to give you the best four tips. So let's have a look at tip number one. The first thing is behavioral change. The ability to be able to adapt and evolve. Hills rise and sink. Stars have their beginnings and they have their ends. Change is a constant and you want to embrace that. You want to embrace change. The problem with salespeople is they come from a place of knowing. I've heard it all before. The most average salespeople that I've met have heard it all before. So the first tip is top salespeople evolve and come from a place of not knowing. Okay, so the second tip is the art and psychology of listening skills. To be a top salesperson, you need to be a very good listener. I'm talking about the psychology of listening. I'm talking about the ability to be able to be very quiet, to be able to t attend and look like a listener, to follow people in conversation yet stand out of their way, and also the ability to be able to reflect back on what people are saying. You see, you like people that reflectively listen. Well, it sounds like you had a really relaxing weekend because this and this and this happened. Far too many times salespeople either have a better story or they give too much advice and talk themselves into a sale and then out of it. Top salespeople, the top 4% will be extremely good listeners and they will understand the psychology of listening skills. So point number three is fall in love with personal development. Top salespeople fall in love with personal development. They fall in love with becoming a better listener. They fall in love with sales process. They fall in love with learning. So really it's important to be able to fall in love with personal development. To go on a journey, a journey of personal development. Top salespeople have tapes and CDs and books. So challenging yourself really really important as a top salesperson to challenge yourself so know that creating you is all about releasing yourself from the past if you have a perception of yourself from the past that is at all negative like I'm not good enough because of my father or I have to stay in control because when I was a child I wasn't in control. And all these conversations that we have with ourselves from the past unfortunately get in our way of creating things. So for me to become a multiple international award winning professional speaker, I had to get rid of I'm not good enough. I had to get rid of I can't be vulnerable. Vulnerability is a strength. So these are the four attributes of the top salesperson. I'm going to revise them again. It's behavioral change. If you say you've heard it all before, you're in trouble. Being able to adapt, evolve, and grow. That won't work in my industry. So the same sort of thing. That won't work in my industry. I've heard it all before. The second one is the psychology of listening skills, the ability to be able to attend, to look like a listener physically, to follow someone in conversation and keep out of their way, and then reflect back what they've said. You want to be a top salesperson, you need to be like a clinical psychologist, you need to be like a social worker. I'm serious, I'm not joking. So, fall in love with personal development and sales process. Fall in love with personal development, become good at reading people, become good at listening skills, become good at, at being you, the best version of yourself and fall in love with sales process as well. Know that creating a new you is exactly that. Recreate yourself into a powerful person and go through the skills of releasing yourself from the past so you can do that. I would like to thank you for joining me on this journey. 
we're going to have a lot of YouTubes coming up. And look, I mean, if you're trying to work out if I'm authentic or inauthentic, I have done a lot of personal development. I come from a very high level of sales success. And the fact is, I'm inauthentic. I say and do things to make myself look better in the eyes of others, and I always will. And the closest to authenticity that I can be is to be authentic about the fact that I'm inauthentic. I'm evolving, I'm adapting, I'm learning about myself all the time. And you know what? I'm having fun doing it. You know, there's no reason why you can't have a hell of a lot of fun learning about yourself and growing. So the next YouTube is going to be about the best sales tips in relation to the clinical psychology of sales psychology. So the clinical psychology of listening skills and how to adapt that into sales. We're going to dig in to that topic and give you the best four tips of listening skills and becoming a clinical psychologist in sales. Now, if you did like this YouTube, please subscribe and also make some comments. Thank you very much. I hope this was valuable for you. And um, that's why I'm here, to create value. Thanks very much. And please subscribe. David Ferrier, over and out.